step back into 1977 and explore the cinematic charm of Candleshoe, a film that seamlessly weaves together mystery, humor, and heart. Directed by Norman Tokar, this family-friendly adventure captivates audiences with its engaging storyline and memorable characters. As you revisit the film, consider this. Is there a particular scene or moment that has left a lasting imprint on your cinematic journey? Before we delve into the details, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Candleshoe? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing facets of this classic. Set against the backdrop of a grand English estate, the film follows the escapades of a young street urchin, Casey, played by a young Jodie Foster. When she's recruited to impersonate the missing heiress of Candleshoe, the stage is set for a delightful blend of mischief and mayhem. The ensemble cast, featuring David Niven, Helen Hayes, and Leo McKern, adds depth to the narrative, creating a cinematic tapestry that stands the test of time. Candleshoe not only entertains but also leaves a lasting impact with its themes of identity, family, and the unexpected bonds that form in the unlikeliest of places. As you reflect on this cinematic gem, consider the moments that resonate with you. What makes Candleshoe endure in your memory? We look forward to reading your thoughts and anecdotes. In 1977, Norman Tokar took over the directorial reins from David Swift for the movie Candleshoe. Swift, known for directing Disney classics like Pollyanna and The Parent Trap, initially conceived the project and was slated to direct. However, he stepped down due to his reservations about casting Jodie Foster as Casey, believing she wasn't the right fit. Interestingly, Jodie Foster's commitment to Candleshoe led her to turn down the role of Violet in Pretty Baby. This decision showcased her dedication to the character of Casey in the film. The roots of Candleshoe trace back to the novel Christmas at Candleshoe by Michael and Ness, first published in 1953. The film adaptation emerged almost a quarter century later, maintaining a connection to its source material. In summary, Candleshoe underwent a directorial change, saw Jodie Foster making a career choice in its favor, and brought to life a narrative that had lingered in literary form for over two decades. These factors contribute to the unique backstory of the 1977 film. Veronica Quilligan, a last-minute replacement for the role of Clunny in the 1977 movie Candleshoe, added an unexpected twist to the film's production. Early promotional stills featured a different actress in Clunny's costumes, creating a buzz before Quilligan stepped into the role. This 11th hour change brought an element of unpredictability to the movie. Jodie Foster, portraying the character Casey Brown, was 14 during the film's production, aligning with the character's age. However, by the time Candleshoe debuted in late 1977, Foster had turned 15. This slight age difference adds a nuanced layer to Foster's portrayal of Casey, showcasing her ability to capture the essence of a character slightly younger than herself. The character Bundage, played by Leo McKern, drew inspiration from Charles Dickens, as noted by Lawrence Van Gelder of the New York Times. This Dickensian influence adds depth to the film, connecting it to classic literature and enriching the character dynamics within Candleshoe. In summary, Candleshoe's production saw unexpected casting changes, age differentials in character portrayals, and a literary influence that shaped the narrative. These factors contribute to the unique and dynamic aspects of the 1977 film, providing audiences with an intriguing viewing experience. The distinctive GWR Churchward 45 O-Class 2-6-2T Small Prairie Steam Train, identified by registration no. 4566 played a notable role in the 1977 film Candleshoe. This authentic locomotive, chosen for its period accuracy, added a touch of realism to the movie's setting. The selection of such a specific train model reflects the filmmaker's commitment to historical authenticity, contributing to the overall immersive experience for audiences. In addition to the steam train, the movie features Lady Saint, 
Edmund's return of two toys, Teddy and Piggywig, to Margaret. Interestingly, these toys are original style Winnie the Pooh and Piglet stuffed animals. Despite the common belief that names were altered due to copyright concerns, the film's time frame aligns with Disney's ownership of the characters, suggesting that Teddy and Piggywig were deliberately chosen to capture the whimsical names a child might give to her beloved toys. Furthermore, the musical elements in Candleshoe contribute to its atmospheric charm. Grimsworthy, portrayed by Vivian Pickles, plays the traditional English folk song Greensleeves on the piano and Music Box. This timeless tune, also known as What Child Is This, and a new northern did I of ye laid I green sleeves, adds a cultural and historical layer to the film's soundtrack. The incorporation of such a classic melody enhances the period ambience, connecting the audience to a rich musical tradition. In summary, the 1977 film Candleshoe, beyond its captivating narrative and dynamic characters, pays meticulous attention to historical details, from the choice of a specific steam train model to the selection of iconic toys and the use of a classic English folk song. These subtle yet deliberate choices contribute to the film's overall authenticity and offer audiences a unique glimpse into the past, enriching the viewing experience. Peggy Ann Clifford was initially cast in Candleshoe, but a last-minute change replaced her with Veronica Quilligan for the role of Clunny. This unexpected casting alteration added a twist to the film's production, generating buzz even before its release. Additionally, the film marked the final theatrical feature of the esteemed actress Helen Hayes, known for her role as Lady Gwendolyn St. Edmund. This significant detail adds a poignant layer to Candleshoe, serving as a notable milestone in the actress' extensive career. Furthermore, a noteworthy aspect of Candleshoe's production is Jodie Foster's tight schedule. After wrapping up Freaky Friday in 1976, Foster had a mere three weeks break before diving into the principal photography of Candleshoe. This demanding timeline underscores Foster's dedication to her craft showcasing the challenges actors sometimes face in managing back-to-back -back film commitments. In summary, Candleshoe, beyond its captivating narrative and dynamic characters, experienced unexpected casting changes and marked the final cinematic appearance of a legendary actress. Jodie Foster's swift transition from one project to another adds an intriguing layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the 1977 film offering audiences a unique perspective on the challenges faced by the cast and crew. These aspects contribute to the film's rich backstory, providing a deeper understanding of its production history. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Candleshoe, let the flickering embers of nostalgia illuminate the corridors of your memories. This 1977 masterpiece isn't merely celluloid. It's a tapestry woven with the threads of adventure, wit, and an indomitable spirit. As you traverse the landscapes of your mind, rediscovering the hidden treasures of this cinematic gem, ponder upon the moments that forged an intimate connection between you and Candleshoe. Was it the charismatic mischief of Casey, the cunning charm of Priory, or the allure of an age where secrets unfolded like ancient scrolls? Perhaps it was the amalgamation of all, painting a vivid tableau in your heart. We invite you to share your reflections, to unveil the layers of your personal narrative entwined with Candleshoe. Your stories are the echoes that resonate through time, transforming a solitary cinematic experience into a collective symphony of shared memories. Let the keyboard be your quill and the screen your parchment as you craft the ode to your unique Candleshoe saga. Whether you embarked on this journey recently or in the bygone days of 77, your musings are the testament to the enduring magic of storytelling. So, let the digital campfire glow and the pixels be the ink that immortalizes your connection with Candleshoe. Thank you for indulging in this journey of reminiscence and reflection. Your time and thoughts are the cherished relics that keep the flame of Candleshoe burning bright. Until we meet again in the realms of shared nostalgia, happy reminiscing, and may your memories of Candleshoe forever dance in the flicker of recollection.